On October 22, 2021, the Wisconsin State Journal ran a story on Wisconsin's <coughs> excuse me, unemployment rate. In the story, Department of Workforce Development officials said Wisconsin employers continue to struggle to find jobs, to fill jobs, due to a workforce gap driven by low birth rates. Quote, the labor force may decline by 2035 rather than just be flat, said Scott Hodick, section chief of DWD's Office of Economic Advisors. Quote, this is essentially the retirement of the baby boomer generation. As that generation ages and in turn ages out of the labor force, it becomes more and more difficult to, to replace those job openings, end quote. At a time when state government should be developing and promoting policies that incentivize natural population growth, which I know is a bipartisan concern. Why would the bill authors attempt to do the opposite by pushing wide and easy access to contraceptives? It's just something to think about. First off, I just have to say I find it incredibly offensive that you think that my decisions or anybody else's decisions on whether or not to um, plan to engage in family planning um, should be determined based on whether or not we have a worker shortage. So I, I just, I find that part of your testimony incredibly offensive as a woman and quite frankly, as a human being.